When I was a student, I was working as a bartender, uh, quite a very good job, by the way, and it was very close to this uh, city where I'm at the moment. I had the opportunity uh, to differentiate all the different type of customer. And I'm sure you all know him, this type of guy that always wanted to put his drinks on his table and to pay at a later stage. You know, this feeling to be special that he wanted to get. And I'm sure we all like this feeling to be special. In, for instance, in my case, I always like to go uh, with to invite my customer to the same restaurant when I really know the owner, I have a good relation with him. And just imagine you are on the table having a good dinner, professional conversation, you eat a lot, you just want to uh, go back home at the end and you have this opportunity to say, hey, I will pay that later as usual and then pff, you are free to go. Beautiful. My name is Amory, business advisor at Odoo, and today I'm going to show you how to use uh, and to solve this kind of situation under Odoo point of sales. So basically to be able to use this feature, what we want to have is first of all the point of sales for sure, th which is a link directly to the inventory module as you may already know, and then we just need to add the accounting module and we are good to go after a few configurations. What are the main benefits? First of all, it will be the flexibility that you will get overall, the flexibility that you will be able to offer to your customer. What I mean by that? Okay, let's take a total another situation. So I'm behind my desk, behind my point of sales, and I see this customer coming and coming again because he starts to like my product, he starts to trust me. Uh, I want to give him something back as at some point. I want to uh, trust him as well and to give him this confidence. So what I do, I come to him and say, okay, you can keep, um, keep buying what you want and pay at the later stage, I trust you. And for sure, it will reinforce their, the distrustable relation that you can get with them, which is, as we all know, a key success factor in any relation, uh, commercial relation. Okay, within this feature, what we'll be able as well to do is to solve unexpected situation. So if we keep the same example, I'm behind my desk here and I see this customer coming with a lot of product. He comes and put everything on the desk and at the end he forgot his bank card. Boom! Embarrassing moment. What do we do? You don't want to blame him. You don't want to tell him to put all the articles back in the shop. You know that you anyway won't get paid uh, today. So what you can do is just you use this feature and tell him simply you can come back later or even tomorrow to pay the due amount. And that's it. What's next? Then another big advantage will be the simplicity of a whole to use. So as you may know, um, the concept of Odoo is an all-in-one solution, fully integrated. What does that mean? That means that all these different modules will communicate to each other and send the right information automatically at the right moment. So that means as well that you can use the full feature only, only under the point of sales module. You do not need to have any accounting knowledge. You don't even need to go in the accounting module to use it. So it's very accessible and convenient for the, for the person in charge of the point of sales. Okay, that means as well that everything will be fully centralized on the software directly. You do not need any uh, paper anymore, so full paperless. Uh, imagine uh, before you had uh, this old book with the pen and you had to write everything down, like uh, every exception, exception. After you lose the book, you lose time to search the book, and if you forgot it or don't find it back, you lose uh, some money because you will not remember everything that has been written down. Last but not least, uh, let's um, see about how can we track all the different situations. So what I mean by tracking the situation, first of all, is uh, to have um, a deep analysis of each single situation by your customer, to know everything and to be able to access all this uh, data that you need to run properly your business. Based on that, you will see all these due amounts and you can process easy follow-up levels in only a few clicks as we are going to see it in a few minutes. And for me, the biggest part will be to be able to keep an eye on our situation as a company. If we decide to offer this possibility to make credit for all the customer, we want to keep an eye on a day to day basis about uh, if we are still uh, good to avoid any bad surprises at the end of the month or at the end of the year. So Odoo is the right tool to you. I hope so. Enough talking now and let's start the demonstration together. 
Fine. Okay. Let me put the contacts back. So basically, I'm an employee in a company that provides fresh food, mainly in Belgium, for hotel and restaurants. What does that mean? That means that my customers are repetitive customers. They come often on site. Could be two times, three times, or even four times a week. Uh, four times a week to always provide fresh food to their customers. N and most of them uh, are asking me if uh, they could have the, this privilege uh, to simply pay at a later stage for their whole months of purchases to avoid repetitive tasks and just simply come buy and pay at the end of the month. Let's see together how to manage this in Odoo. Basically, as you may see on the screen, uh, we have point of sales, accounting and inventory. What we want to do at this step is to access the point of sales and here we are in the back end of Odoo, the back end of the point of sales. I see my shop and I'm ready to open a new session for to start my daily sales simply. Let's go ahead, we start a new session. Okay, everything is fine. Now I'm waiting for my first customer. And after a few minutes, who do I see? It's James from Patagonia's restaurant coming. I know him since several years and the restaurant itself as well with a good relation. And uh, as usual, they buy, they buy sorry, some pa uh, paste, uh, fresh tomato, and some good red wine. What do we want to do at this stage? We want to select to identify the right customer. Here, I just have the full list, and I can search for Patagonia's restaurant. And as, uh, as you may see, we have the restaurant itself, uh, and every single employees that have been registered that already came to buy in our shop. Let's take uh, James this time. Okay, we are good now. We can access the payment menu. So from the payment menu, what do we have? We have all the different uh, methods that we already set up for this specific point of sales. And as you may notice, the customer account is only a part of them. What does that mean as well? That you just need to click on it and you are able to use it uh, as the payment method. That means even if you just hire a student, you will be able to use this feature quite easily. In this case, they always request an invoice, so let's go ahead and validate this. The invoice is generated in the back end, and if I press OK, I have here the sales receipt uh, that you can still print or send by email. Uh, what we want to check on this sales receipt is simply here the customer account, his customer account, have been debited by a thousand euros. Okay, nice, perfect. We can go to the next order. What I want to do is to quickly refresh this page to be able to update it a month, to see the updated amount. I go back to customers this time, Patagonia again. And what I see is nothing under the name of James. Why? For the simple reason that James is a part of a company which is Patagonia's restaurant and Odoo will always prioritize uh, a company if there is one. What does that mean as well? Simply that uh, all Patagonia's employees could come on site and buy under the same account uh, to make their life so much easier, simpler and easier. What else? And the cashier or the student in charge of your point of sales uh, will always have this first insight, uh, the first the, this insight about the due amount of each single customer that comes on a day-to-day -day basis. So he could uh, perform some action based on that. But, okay. What if you want to have a deeper analysis of this situation um, regarding Patagonia's restaurant? Um, quite easy. Let's uh, quit our session this time, so we close it. We see, by the way, all the detail about what happened uh, today and the customer account have been uh, here debited. Close the session and then I'm in the back end of Odoo. So basically from here we have a lot of different data, all the reporting, if we you can access uh, kind of different stuff, but what we want to see is the customer here, the list of our customers, to access Patagonia's restaurant contact form. Why? Because from the contact form itself, uh, thanks to all this smart button that we see on the top, you have an overview about your customer. You already know that we have 10 POS orders um, that have been passed. So if I click on this one, I, I, I have the access to the full historical and you see uh, when and who which employees from Patagonia's restaurant came to buy, uh, as easy as that, everything is registered, you have a full traceability, and if you want to have even more detailed, we can access the purchase list. Um, so here, in this, in this case, you have the full detailed uh, list, you have the payment method chosen, 
and as well um, any extra information that you could need. Okay, if I go back, here I have uh, the second smart button, which is the Duemon. So this one basically is directly linked to the accounting module, uh, meaning that from the contact form, I see directly that they still owe me a thousand hundred euro. If I click on this one, I have the full uh, ledger of the customer. So by ledger, I mean uh, his current situation, the money that he still own us. So I have a couple of lines here. Uh, each line uh, correspond to uh, one single purchase. Uh, you have all the related information each time and you have um, the computed due amount at the end. So the computed due amount not paid yet. Let's um, so you have a deeper a deep analysis of the situation at this time. What if you want to make him aware of this situation? What we do is simply clicking by send by email, and that's it. You send in one click, you send this ledger to your customer. We have a beautiful overview here on the right part of the screen, and then we are good to wait our money. So basically, you have this deep analysis. You can um, know lively what you would like to see about this customer but what if you want to send all this ledger at once to avoid to make it one by one quite simple as well we go back customers here we check the list view this time because by with the list view we will be able to select them all so here you have uh, different possibilities you could either use the filters and filter based on certain type of customer premium ones uh, if you want to target them the filter feature is your best friend then you we can just select them all perform action and process follow-up as soon as you have pressed on process follow-up they all receive the ledger at once so as you may see in five or maximum ten seconds you have sent the ledger to all of them okay nice but what about our company regarding all this outstanding credit it's quite interesting uh, and very uh, primordial to have an overview about our situation. So what we want to do now is to access what we call the partner ledger. So this is an accounting concept, but we can just research it directly thanks to the invisible research bar, if you don't know it yet. Partner ledger, I just press here and I'm redirected directly on this screen uh, where I see all the outstanding credits by customer that I have. And in the meantime, um, if you remember, I didn't inject any data to this um, ledger. Everything has been generated automatically uh, due to the different purchases via the point of sales. So this is uh, fully integrated. Um, if you had the student using the point of sales, he even made by himself uh, this ledger. Isn't it fantastic? Mm. Yes, it is. So basically, if you want to have more details, you can just select here at any moment and have a full traceability about, uh, again about what have been done. And you have the full amount here, uh, the total due amount by all your customer. You can at any moment export it on a PDF or an Excel file to perform, uh, to make your own analysis. But at this stage, we still didn't get our money, right? And that's why that's what we want. We don't want to keep this uh, credit open for years so what are we going to do we are going uh, to ask them to pay us so we have two main possibilities regarding this the first one is simply to ask them to pay the due amount based on the ledger on the wire transfer as soon as you get the money you may mark it as paid in Odoo and the balance is back to zero again another uh, method will be to use simply the point of sales so I guess let's go and see together how to manage it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. I open this new session again and this time we are at the very end of um, the month. We are at the end of the month and who I see is Patagonia's boss coming in my shop because he, like to, he, he likes to come at least once a month to see me, to keep this good relation that we've since several years and mostly to pay the due amount. I go here. I select Patagonia and here I see that it still owns me a thousand hundred euro. What I want to do from this screen, I just click on the detail button and that allows me to access the option to settle due account. As soon as I click on settle due account, Odoo will ask me what is the payment method that you will choose um, to pay this amount. Basically, let's go for the bank one and Odoo is enough smart to redirect you directly on this screen with the right amount and the right payment method. 
basically from here we just um, verify, double check if everything is fine. We validate. Odu asks us if you want to deposit this amount on his account. Surely we want to have the balance back to zero, so we press yes. As easy as that, now we can close our session. By closing our session this time, we see that we have a payment by bank that have, have been done and the same amount that have been um, credited this time on the customer account uh, to bring the balance back to zero. Okay, that's fine. We close the session. And then we are good to go. Um, so here we have seen how to manage this credit uh, to the customer account in Odoo, offering a lot of flexibility to your customer and trust. But what if you want don't want to offer this uh, possibility? So I mean, uh, you don't want to offer credit possibility to your customers, but you still want to offer them this flexibility, which makes sense actually. Okay, let's see together how to manage this. So basically what we will do this time is to reverse the situation and to use the customer account as a prepaid account. Very easy to use again. What we do is we start a new session and this time we are at the very beginning of the month. So early in the month and it's Patagonia's boss coming directly to our shop and he would like to load his account with a thousand euro to be able to spend it on a day-to-day -day basis again afterwards. Let's go ahead. What we do here, we just select the customer as soon as we have selected a Patagonia's restaurant, for instance, what we want to do here is not to select any articles, but simply to go to the payment menu. Okay, we go to the payment menu, we choose simply the payment method, the right amount here, a thousand, a thousand and hundred euro or whatever. <coughs> okay, I will do it again here. So a thousand euro by bank and not cash and then we simply validate it okay i missed something somewhere i will just go back here patagonia payment bank thousand and we are good to go okay so here odu knows that we want to deposit this amount on patagonia's account basically the answer is yes and then it's fine it's deposit it's deposit so basically here I close the session and by closing the session I see that this time um, I see minus a thousand uh, euro or dollar meaning that this time we own them this amount and they will be able to spend this money um, during the whole month, the following month. We close the session and what is really nice regarding this again is it's a common account for the old um, restaurant. So basically all the employees could come, if James comes for instance, the day after they could all use the same account. So I search for Patagonia again, I see that this time the balance is minus a thousand so they can still spend this amount. I select the restaurant itself and then it's exactly the same flow. We can select different article here. We go for payment, customer account, very easy, convenient. We validate this and then as we see, we have debited again the customer account. Exactly the same as the beginning of the demonstration, but this time we have some uh, money loaded on the account. We can close our session, our day and our months at this step. And yes, so perfect. Uh, we have seen together how to manage um, the customer credit account. So we have uh, two main possibilities. First of all, the possibility to offer credit that will build even more trust with your customer, conducting to more customers, so more revenue. And you have the possibility to solve uh, some uh, embarrassing situation, as we saw. Or if you don't want to offer this possibility, you just make a prepaid account under this customer account and you still have this flexibility, you avoid repetitive tasks, everything is fully centralized and you are good to go. Thank you very much for listening and here is the Q&A session.